Hello everyone, myself Adar Shabhi. Today's seminar presentation on multi-points indoor air quality monitoring based on Internet of Things under the guidance of Professor Prakash Ji. And the contents are introduction, history of technology, proposal methodology, results, applications, and conclusion references. And introduction, the people spend more than 80% of their time in indoor environment and uh, indoor air quality is uh, one of the most important factors affecting human health, temporary or long, long term staying indoor exports with a poor air quality can lead to rapid or chronic illness. And uh, the short term effects include headache as well as eye and uh, throat irritation and uh, chronic diseases include uh, respiratory diseases and also the heart diseases. For example, long-term exposed to volatile organic compounds can cause damage to the liver, kidneys, and central nervous system, and high co concentration of carbon dioxide will cause a higher respiratory rate, increase heart rate or headache. And PM2.5 PM2 is considered as the most harmful particulate matter to human health out of all atmospheric particulate matters. PM 2.5 uh, pollution is related to 2,20,000 lung cancer deaths worldwide each year according to atmospheric models. And health problems have been growing at faster rate, especially in urban areas of developing countries where industrialization and growing number of vehicles leads to releases of a lot of gaseous pollutants. And LPG sensors, LPG uh, liquid petroleum gas sensor is added in the system which is used mostly in houses. The system will show temperature and humidity. The system can be installed anywhere but mostly in industries and houses where gases are mostly to be found and gives a, an alert messages when the system crosses threshold limit. And history of technology. Multipoint indoor air quality monitoring based on IoT can be tracked back to the early 2000s with the development of a Wireless sensor networks. Wireless sensor networks are, are networks for small low power devices that can communicate wirelessly with each other and with a central base station. In early 2010s, with the rise of IoT and availability of sensors, researchers began exploring the use of wireless sensor networks for indoor air quality monitoring. This led to the development of multi-point indoor air quality monitoring system that can measure various parameters such as temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds, particulate matter, and uh, other pollutants. IoT-based indoor air quality monitoring system provide real-time data on the quality of the indoor air in a building. This data can be used, used to identify source of pollution, evaluate the effect, effectiveness of a ventilation system, and improve the overall indoor air quality. And uh, proposed methodology. The methodology of a multi-point indoor air quality monitoring based on internet, internet of uh, things uh, typically involves the following steps. Sensor development. The network of uh, wireless sensors deployed throughout the indoor environment to measure various parameters such as temperature, humidity, carbon dioxide, volatile organic components, particulate matter, and other pollutants. And uh, data collection. The sensor continuously collects the data on indoor air quality parameters and transmits the data to central server or cloud-based platform. And next, data analysis. The collected data is analyzed using various statistical and uh, machine learning techniques to identify patterns and trends in the indoor air quality. And visualization and reporting. The analyzed data is presented in a user-friendly format through graphs and other visualization tools. This allows building owners and managers to easily interrupt the data and take corrective actions to improve indoor air quality. And alerting and action. The system can be programmed to send alerts and notifications when the certain thresholds are exceeded or when specific events occur. This can promote building managers to take immediate action to address any issues with the indoor air quality. And the, the in, indoor air quality monitoring system based on IoT is shown in the figure. All indoor air quality are connected with a 
Zigbee wireless sensor networks. The collector gateway sends an instruction through the coordinator in the format of a Modbus and RT remote terminal unit can be connected to the network. And we developed a six uh, uh, indoor air quality detectors indoor and outside of an apartment. The monitoring points marked with the numbers could be used as a codes for monitoring rooms and master room and uh, second one is a second uh, second room third is activity room fourth kitchen fifth living room and sixth is outside each in indoor air quality detector has a zigbee communication model and the coordinator of a wireless sensor network is located in the li living room and the results are we will focus on the evaluation of uh, performance of the proposed uh, indoor air quality detector system the performance of a communication using Zigbee models is uh, evaluated indoor in a residential apartment in China with the uh, temperature of uh, N 38.5 degrees Celsius to demonstrate the performance of a presented on the indoor air quality detector system. We developed uh, seven monitoring points in the target apartment and conducted indoor and outdoor sampling form during the winter measurement period. The target apartment adopts geothermal heating instead of uh, radiators or uh, air conditioners, which ensures that the temperature of distribution of each room is uniform. The CO2, CO2 is a carbon dioxide concentration of uh, each room was balanced and maintained at a low level as shown in the uh, above figure. The monitoring period of this paper is in the winter with a maximum outdoor temperature of uh, minus 14 degree Celsius. And the maximum temperature of 12.6 degrees Celsius and average temperature of minus 1.0 degrees Celsius. The apartments are heated with the geothermal heating and the temperature of each room is relatively uniform. The standard temperature of a winter heating in China is 18 degrees Celsius and the temperature of heating in the apartment meets the user's requirements. And the applications are commercial buildings residential buildings, industrial facilities and laboratories, hospitality industry and government buildings. And conclusion, indoor air quality detector system made up of a Zigbee wireless sensor network which enables monitoring of PM2.5, CO2, temperature and humidity simultaneously. Furthermore, we put forward a multi-point monitoring system in a residential building based on the Internet of Things. Compared with the previous studies, we have de developed multiple monitoring points in the building to more reflect the air quality in the building. The concentration of uh, carbon dioxide in the room is high due to the reduced frequency of uh, opening windows in the winter, especially when uh, sleeping at night. The carbon dioxide concentration in the bedroom will exceed uh, 1000 parts per million. The concentration of carbon dioxide will reach 2500 parts per million with the floor closed at a night. We should, we should pay attention to the observe whether the outdoor particulate matter 2.5 concentration is suitable for ventilation during the daytime. When and uh, when people cook in the kitchen, the concentration of particulate matter 2.5 will be 10 times higher than usual and seriously hurts human health. And the references are um, decision support algorithm based on the concentration of air pollutants visualizations. And thank you.